What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm getting ready to head to town. You can see the edge of dad. We got the neighbor's lawnmower fixed. It's time to go buy an air filter for it, which I'm gonna go to town and get that right now. I'm gonna also order some stuff from Lowe's, but we're trying to figure out exactly which one. I'm sure the uh, neighbor appreciates it very much. I think he actually watches the videos. I think I saw him comment on yesterday's video. So what's up, Sylvester? I uh, tested it out in the front yard, mowed a little bit, but still needs to have the filter on it yeah but you replace got a new carburetor fix that uh, I'm gonna get some fix it flat and put those in the tires or some thorns and stuff in it and then uh, dad put some degrease around the engine and give it a little wash I'm trying to air up the tires right now yeah so you want me to just go ahead and take off and you can send it yeah I can do that all right tell the people bye see ya <laughs> Pull up and get this situated here guys always something to do around here. All right. There we go. All right, so once again, got that mower fixed. I know they'll appreciate it. Uh, going from not having a riding mower to having one again is big time down here, especially getting ready to have some spring weather. It's actually drizzling today, so there will not be any work on a tiny house. Speaking of the tiny house, oh my gosh, I got so mad with the person at Lowe's today on the phone. It says, for English, press one. Press one. A gentleman gets on the line and can barely speak English, and it was just very irritating with him. He was trying to reset my card for me. Uh, I have a Lowe's card like most people do, and I've used it several times, never had any issues. I've had several deliveries down here. And then the last two times I went to Lowe's, I tried to use the card and it didn't work. So I had to pay with cash or my debit card, uh, which is not the end of the world, but I get a 5% discount. And then I also get a discount on delivery. And uh, I was going through getting ready to order all the wood for the roofing, just the framing portion of it. And uh, dad and I went and made a big list and everything and went to go hit submit to order it and card got denied I don't know why so I called two different numbers for Lowe's and uh, neither one of them really was much help so I'm actually gonna go to town now and go talk to them in person see if we can get this ordered if I can get it ordered today they can have it delivered tomorrow and I don't think it's supposed to be raining tomorrow and I don't think it's supposed to be raining much more today it seemed like a lot of the rain uh, passed us by so Anyways, that guy frustrated me real bad. I don't even know where he was from, but I'm sure everybody that's watching this video has dealt with somebody like that where you get on there and it's somebody probably across the world that knows what they're doing, I guess, but it's hard to understand them. And I ended up just telling the guy, you know what? I'm done with this conversation. I just hung up and I said, I'm gonna go into, into town and try to get the stuff ordered. So uh, me ordering it with my card versus not ordering it, uh, I'll be honest on this part, it doesn't really matter. Uh, on the last video I said I was gonna, it was gonna be roughly $1,500 to do the, the roofing, but we're gonna make the beams ourselves, so that saves us some money. It was gonna be around 1200 bucks, and then with my card and delivery, I got it knocked down to just under $1,000. So uh, it's a big difference, two or 300 bucks. And uh, yeah, so it's definitely worth driving into town right now since I already have to go for other stuff and get the stuff ordered, so. Fingers crossed we'll get an order today. They'll have it out sometime this week and then we can start framing up the, the roof. I'm very excited to get that going. I know people in town drive by all the time and haven't seen much progress or it didn't look like much progress from the road. But uh, yeah, I was telling dad when we were, after yesterday's video on the main channel, we drove out to the roadway and I said, man, it sucks. All that, We spent all day out here working and then from the roadway, it doesn't look like any progress was done. But as long as we know what's going on and we're happy with the progress. That's all that really matters. And uh, yeah, so something's going on down here. Uh, yesterday I was mowing on, on my day off from YouTube. Uh, I went and mowed the family estate by the by the store. It's about five acres. I was out there in the tractor mowing and just tons and tons and tons of uh, sheriff's department. And there's more right here. And there are different counties coming in. Jim Wells County, uh, we're in Clayburg County. And I said, something's got to be up. And I think, I think Matt said that Trump and Biden 
or possibly going to the border. It could be wrong, but I, I think that's what he was saying. It, it makes sense because there is more security down here now. So uh, anytime they they uh, come through this area, it's always beefed up security. So, and speaking of, here's another one. All these unmarked vehicles too. And they got border patrol here, <laughs> which is something that's, you don't typically see them in this area too much anymore. They're all down right at the border, but now they're all up and down the highway here. So I guess they're just trying to take all precautions for something. I could be wrong. Maybe they're not coming down, but I don't know why else there'd be this much security down here. So anyways, uh, that's what's been going on. Uh, last night I slept really, really good. I feel bad for Tucker and Daisy. Uh, it was about 10 o'clock at night, 9, 30, 10. I was laying down and I was like, well, I'm gonna let the dogs out real quick. Uh, Baxter didn't want to go, which doesn't surprise me. And uh, I let Tucker and Daisy out. And next thing I know, I woke up and it was the morning. I'm like, whoops. Oh, well, <laughs> here's another sheriff right here. That makes six, six sheriffs since I mentioned it so far. Let's see. Yeah, this one's Claybird County Sheriff. But I don't know. Anyways, uh, it's not cheap building a house. I understand that. I'm trying to go with the money I have. I'm trying to uh, not get in debt like I mentioned on other videos. So some of the build does take a little bit longer. Some of it is weather that's permitting it. Some of it is... Uh, Actually, it's not really financial at the moment. I have the money lined up to do stuff. It's just trying to get everything done. Here's another sheriff. Every single section, they got another sheriff. This one's a supervisor, though. Canine unit, looks like. But, yeah, anyways, uh, hopefully the rain dies down. My yard is just absolutely terrible when it rains. Uh, the, the driveway, you just sink in. I've mentioned it in the past, but... Uh, I need to get another load of rock out there, especially now that I'm living out there. I'm hoping that we don't get too much rain so when they do deliver the stuff, if I can get everything situated tomorrow, they won't have any issues backing in and uh, not trying to get stuck. So I know the last time they delivered stuff, it was right after rain and they couldn't come all the way back in my driveway. So I had to physically carry everything by hand, which is not an issue, but it would have been a lot more convenient for me if they could have pushed it all the way up to the house. And I'm hoping that's what they can do this time. So. Anyways, uh, I forgot to get the shovel handles. Y'all forgot to remind me by the end of the video last or yesterday's video, and I completely forgot on that. I'm probably gonna forget again on this one, but my main thing today is to get my wood and stuff ordered. Uh, I gotta go get more nails. I gotta get glue, other stuff like that, and then to get this filter for this mower so we can get the the neighbor set up. There's another sheriff right now. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. If the president does come through for some weird reason through this area or uh, the real president, Mr. Trump, if he comes through here, I may try to catch it if they fly over or something. I doubt they're going to be driving through here. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, hopefully by the end of today, the lawnmower will be fixed for the neighbor and I know to make their life a lot easier for them. So anyways, appreciate you guys for watching. Thank dad for getting that carburetor for them and getting that fixed for them as well. So appreciate you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.